painting foliage in Unreal Engine. It's really simple, but there are some small tips and tricks you can use to up your quality. If you don't have models already, I made the project used in this video available for free on my Gumroad, link in the description. Feel free to use the included assets in any of your projects. Start out by getting a landscape into your scene. Sculpt it up a bit. This is actually important for some settings later. Go into foliage editing mode. It's here in 4.25 and later, but it's here in earlier versions. Drag the meshes you want to paint into this box here. See the little checkboxes? They toggle which foliage you're painting. If you select multiple by shift clicking, you can enable and disable groups of foliage at a time. Let's get the easy settings out of the way. Material override lets you paint the same mesh with different materials. Density controls how much foliage you're placing in a 1K by 1K area. Radius controls how close the foliage can be to another instance of the same type. Scaling controls what axes the scale of your foliage is randomized on. Uniform means it will always scale evenly. Free means that every direction is randomized. It could be taller than it is wide, wider than it is tall, etc. The scale value below controls how random your scaling is on any given axis. Z offset controls how varied the foliage can be from the ground height. Negative values makes the foliage dip into the ground, higher values makes the foliage float above the ground. This depends on how your mesh was constructed technically, but you know. Okay, now for some interesting ones. Align to normal controls if the mesh will align to the surface of the mesh you are painting on, or if it will stick straight up no matter what. I recommend turning this off for tall plants like trees, and keeping it on for small plants like grass. If you want your meshes to align to the normal but only kinda, you can set align max angle to something really low like 5. This way the plant can only be 5 degrees off of its normal up direction. Random yaw randomizes the direction the foliage is facing. I can't really think of a reason you would want to turn this off, but I'm sure somebody needs it somewhere. Random pitch does, uh, this. It's nicer at lower values in my experience. The ground slope angles control whether the plant will grow at a given location, depending on the steepness of the ground there. Dense grass looks nice with a lower max value, and pebbles and rocks look nice with a slightly higher min value. Height controls the altitude at which the foliage will grow. For example, you may have a high mountain that you want grass and trees to stop growing on closer to the top. Rather than painting that all by hand, you can define these values and Unreal will stop them from painting there for you. The layer inclusion exclusion settings allow you to automatically prevent the foliage from painting on the corresponding landscape layers as defined in your landscape material. The minimum values define at what point in the blend the foliage stops painting. Mobility is mostly here to determine the type of shadows that the foliage casts, though you can also determine that down below and in your lights. The call distance controls how far away the foliage needs to be before it stops rendering. Smaller values for smaller plants, larger values for larger plants. Cast shadow toggles whether the foliage casts shadows. There are at least two scenarios when I find I don't want a plant to cast a shadow. When I just need better performance, and when I'm making stylized grass. Turning off the grass casting shadows gives a significant performance boost, and it gives the grass a nice smooth appearance. Collision presets. Obviously, you want to have no collision on small plants like grass, but on larger plants like trees, you don't want the player to be able to move through it. Make sure to customize the tree's collision like this. Enable density scaling is a nice performance boost for smaller meshes like grass that have no significant effect on gameplay and have no collision. On to the tools! Select lets you select and edit one instance. All selects all your foliage for large edits. Deselect deselects all the foliage you have selected. Invalid selects all invalid foliage instances. Lasso lets you use the brush tool to select the foliage in the area that you brush over. Paint paints. You've probably already used this if you're at this point in the video. Shift click with it to erase. Reapply is a really useful tool. Say you just spent an hour meticulously painting the foliage exactly where you want it, but you find that you want to make a change to one of these settings. The foliage in your scene won't update because you already placed it. No problem, just hit the reapply button and paint on the foliage to refresh it. Single instance mode places a single instance of every type of foliage you have active. Useful for precisely placing trees. The fill tool lets you cover an entire static mesh with foliage. Shift click to remove all the foliage. It's a little finicky though, make sure you're shift clicking the actual mesh and not the foliage you have placed. The Erase tool erases. Remove deletes any foliage you have selected. Move transfers the selected foliage to the level you're working in if you're using level streaming. Size is your brush size. Density here is different from the other density slider. This is the brush density, while the other one only applied to the foliage you were editing. Erase density is the amount of foliage the eraser will erase to. 0 to erase everything, 0 0.5 to erase half of everything, all the way up to 1, which removes the erase tool's meaning in life. The filters up here determine what you can paint on. Only want to paint on the landscape? There you go. Want to paint on static meshes too? Sure. You can even paint on other foliage. 
And there you go, that's a foliage overview. There are a few other really niche settings that I could have touched on, but they're the type of setting that if you need them, you probably already know about them. I hope you enjoy the free assets. Until next time, 